Okay, everyone, this is Beal's quick review of the scapula. This is a right scapula or shoulder blade. Prominently is the socket that you can see articulates with the humeral head. This is the glenoid cavity or glenoid fossa. That is always lateral in the body, folks. The arm hangs down laterally. So knowing that, you'd be able to identify this side here. This would be the lateral border or the axillary border. Remember, axilla is armpit. The inferior angle is at the bottom of the scapula. The other border would be the medial border or vertebral border right here. This angle at the top of the structure is the superior angle making this the superior border right there. The other prominent feature sticking out posteriorly would be the scapular spine or spine of the scapula here. If you follow this all the way up, it flattens out into this kind of flat process here, which is the acromion process or just the acromion articulates with the acromial end of the clavicle. The other sticking out process that you can clearly see is this smaller one here. That's the coracoid process, coracoid beak-like. Um, looking at the fossas of this thing, above the scapular spine right here in this little kind of indentation or groove here is the supraspinous fossa. My pointer finger is sitting in it. Below the scapular spine here, would be the infraspinous fossa. And if I flip this over and look at the underneath side, that would be below sub. This is the subscapular fossa on the underneath side. The rotator cuff muscles sit in these fossas. So that is Beale's quick tour of the scapula.